Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 video. Uh, today we are on the West Cornwall local again and we're going to be doing uh, a beach service over to St Ives. Well, a branch line service but yeah, beach service as well. Um, TPWS isolate, there we go. Ooh, have to, there we go, that's all good. So it's a fairly early morning, January morning. Um, yeah, I thought why not. So a winter's, a winter's beach day, which to be honest, I actually have done before, in um, February 2019. It was uh, well roasting for um, for February. I remember going down the beach. Right there we go. Right, let's get going. It is Lalant next. Yeah, been a while since I've been on uh, West Cornwall. It's good to be back. Let's get all of that off. There's 15 out of here. Cool. Going up to 30. So if you're a loco, you only be able to go 10, but as we're a multiple unit, so we have a bit more control over the train, we're able to speed up. So let's see if we speed that up. There we go. So you've got Lalant saltings and then uh, and then Lalant. <coughs> A little bit of braking, not too much. There we go. Put the marker light on as well. Yeah, marker light's already on. That's good. Put that down. So yeah, around this, I remember the first time we played this, right? A bit of a panic. Um, when I was doing the first set, because I thought this was the land, I was like, oh god, here we are already. Because it was, you know, it said like 600 yards, so I was like, oh, maybe it's a long platform. Um, so yeah, I sort of stopped here think the, thinking this was the land. Then it said 500 metres, and I, well, 500 yards, and I was like, oh, okay, wrong station. <laughs> but yeah, it's a bit of an odd one, Salton's. Someone said it was like a park and ride for St. Ives, as in the which is just around the corner, there isn't enough parking. Let's get that open. Bit of air in here. So I think it's the Lant, Carbis Bay, and then St. Ives. Which it doesn't take too long. And the Lant is just around this corner. Here we are. And yes, uh, when this video does go out, we should now know the steam route. Um, what did everyone think? Yeah, I think that should have been announced in the uh, Festival of Rail last night. But yeah, what did everyone think of the steam route announced? Are you excited for it? Have to break squealing on here. That'll do. Oh, and that's uh, changed as well, because I think that originally used to say St. Earth. Um, it was like a bug, but yeah, that says St. Ives. But you can change it manually, but just when you spawned in, I think it said St. Earth by default. Let's go. Carbis Bay next. Let's go full whack. Outside shot. Here we go. Still can't believe this route's been out for... Well, almost four months already. Uh, no, not four months. Hold on. Uh, three months. Don't know where that time's gone. 
Because I don't think this route was on the road map for too long before it came out. Because I think this got on the road map in... Was it August, September time? Then it was out by November. Yes, I wonder what Rivet Games' next project is. We had the RHB anniversary pack. But no news on anything else yet. So I wonder what it'll be. Be interesting to see. It's doing it in this one as well. This it also did it on the DBBR 187. Look, if I look, look at look there. Look at the speed. Look at the um, brake gauges or the brake gauge. Look. Keep an eye on it. Look. Boom. Look. You see it. Look. Drags it. Look. You can see it moving with it. Which is really weird. And it seems to be on third party stuff though. It's the only one I've noticed it on. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Here's the beach. I don't know what this beach would be called. Uh, maybe Hell Beach. And we're heading over there. A little bit more. There you go, back up to 30. Yeah, St. Ives branch, the route itself goes from Penzance to um, St. Austell, which is over here. Um, and then you get the St. Ives branch as a little sort of bonus, which is quite cool. Which goes up to here. It's only, I think, four miles, but worth adding. Well, well, one branch line I was surprised not to see is the uh, Falmouth branch, which goes down here. Which is, I think is about 11, I suppose, yeah, 11 extra miles. It's quite a bit. Um, yeah, that then goes down here. did actually do a video on it. Um, might be yesterday's video, if you're watching on release day. Which uh, goes down there. Get up a little bit. As we come into Carbis Bay. Well, hopefully so. I think it's around this next one, maybe. Well, it should be around here, somewhere. I think it's down around here. I see the line. Yeah, it's down here, Carbis Bay. Have a single little platform. Yeah, there it is. I can see the end of the platform. Yeah, down we go. Ooh, get that screenshot. There we go. Quite good with the beach in the background. But here we are, Carbis Bay. Our penultimate stop. So I think it's to the end of the platform here. Well, it doesn't really matter where you stop, as long as the train's in, you'll be alright. a little bit more so, so that there we go head doors open and yeah St. Ives next there's Amanda's uh, go west poster go west Door shut. And one mile to St. Ives. Let's go. 
So I would do a flyby shot, but I don't actually have the keyboard plugged in. I sort of I'm quickly doing this video. Uh, so this I'm doing this just before the uh, Steam announcement. So I'm sort of rushing to get it all done, and yeah, I forgot to uh, plug the keyboard in. Silly me. Get that. Up. And if you are enjoying the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. Um, but yeah, what does everyone think of uh, the St. Ice Branch or just the West Cornwall local in general? Do you still play it? Are you thinking of getting it? Are you giving it a miss? Yeah, what does everyone think? Personally, I think it's uh, it's a very good route. It's uh, similar-ish. I find yeah, I think it's similar-ish to Northern Transpennine. Steep grades, good views, BR. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favourite route. Um, but it's not bad. And if you own, well, talk about Northern Transpennine. If you own Northern Transpennine with the BR Heavy Freight Pack, you'll get the express services, which aren't really express services. I think they miss out two stops, um, and that, I mean some of them take longer than the actual stopping services because the acceleration on the locos can be a bit mm, at times. St. Ives is just round here, it comes down to 15 miles an hour. Now you go into the station there. Let's pop that down. A bit quicker than that train. There you'll be alright. Yeah, end of the line. I always want you to stop quite away before the buffer, but we'll go right up to it. Makes sense too. Is that supposed to be snow there? Yeah, so there's snow there. It's not, I mean, it is January, so maybe that is. Maybe water or something, and then as it's January, it's frozen, and I don't know. There's snow there. No, that's not snow, is it? That's, uh. I don't know. Yeah, not sure. That would do. Doors open. Set that to off. Tail lights on. Tail lights, tail lights, and uh, marker lights. Well, that is going to be everyone for today's Train Sim World 2 video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. You will find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in and I hopefully will see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye guys.